So if you take a good look, this is a 427 cubic inch small block Chevy with our alien intake. It's got dual injectors per cylinder with an octane on demand, twin gas tanks, our mirror image 72 millimeter turbos, custom radiator enclosure with custom twin air to air intercoolers. We went ahead and V-band v band the uh, turbo air inlets. Those headlights just barely clear the air cleaners, but they do work. And it's a C3 Corvette. Got a built specialty drive system with air conditioning, power steering, high amp alternator. It is packed. You can see our fuel regulation setup. Of course, all billet alien or billet valve covers. Our stainless headers, all ceramic coated, going into our mirror image turbos, into some tile wastegates. Doing a little recirc from the wastegate into the exhaust right there. Bunch of stainless hard lines. Powder coated everything black to give it a nice slick look. Give you another nice little view of it. This is kind of a cool view where you see the tires. It's just engine packed in a small package. 1,690 horsepower it made on the dyno. too bad for something that you can just put pretty much anywhere you'd like. So, it's a 427 cubic inch twin turbo hot rod series, one of my favorite engines of all time. And uh, the great thing about these motors is they're just totally mellow. Drive them anywhere, but they just make torque. Bam! Right now, this one made 1,690 horsepower, and uh, this guy's gonna be uh, this guy's gonna be rocking. <laughs> other than this cage, it's gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be a big surprise for him.
the rear end can handle as it is. <laughs> much if you rolled up on this thing you would not think that it makes 1690 horsepower you'd think uh, there's a TPI Corvette kind of clean but mellow enough to drive pretty much anywhere all right so I'm gonna show you some Cool features on this little bad boy. One cool feature right here is that it's got twin gas tanks. So you got pump gas going into this cell, and then race gas goes into that cell. C16, we call that octane on demand. So that's kind of cool. And then underneath the car, we did, you know, kind of just cleaned it up a little bit. Eric really didn't care that it looked like a show car, but we brush the A-arms. Right here we've got some uh, coil mounts so the ignition system is all the coils are mounted right over there. Of course it's got our 427 engine. It's got some cool dual 3 inch exhaust. Did a little punch flare detail clipping the exhaust together. goes out to two tips and then got rid of all that aluminum substructure in the back and made a chromoly structure to hold the two gas tanks but cool little details like these little billet uh, clamps for the exhaust and how they tie into the the structure even you know punch flaring the the deal that holds the tanks and I don't know pretty cool C4 vet that's for sure 1,690 horsepower. Definitely wake you up. A shot of the cram fest there, big radiators and you name it. But pretty clean for a little C4 conversion there. It's, it's, it's just such a good combination. I mean, what more do you need in a street motor. I mean, you've got race car power, you've got, you know, 1,680 horse on a conservative shutting off early, but you can drive it 200 miles in a day and get the street manners of any new car. Uh, it, it's, it's just, it's a, it's, I'm, I'm proud of the progress and the years of development to be able to sell this package. Uh, and, and that's why it's one of my favorites. So interior, actually we've done nothing really to the interior other than it's got its, you know, electromotive computer standalone and relays and stuff in the glove box. 
you know, we're doing one final little remote or some laptop work before it leaves, put a shifter in it, but Eric's gonna do whatever he's gonna do to the interior. We definitely didn't do the cage in that thing, just to point out. And uh, I don't know, he's gonna have a good time with it, that's for sure.